So the first one is uh, Kuei Pai Tea. Mm -hmm. So the shells are made in-house. And we have some local bamboo shoot there that has been braised with dried cuttlefish and some pork. On top is uh, crab meat and omelette meat and finish off with chilli sauce too. The name come about, Chef Malcolm found it in a vintage bookshop. This cookbook dated back to 1966. So he uses uh, candied peanut instead of sugar to get the sweetness. So later when you taste the chilli sauce, there's some nuttiness to it. The bread comes at the bottom, not meant to be eaten. Just to make it look good and also to hold a cup. But if you're really hungry, you can. It's uh, fresh bread crumbs. But it's just not. Uh, there's a lot of food coming up. Next is uh, koropok or prawn cracker. Uh, it will take about three days to come to the end product here. So we use red tail sea prawn or anka prawn. And there's about more than 65% uh, prawn. And the rest are flour. And then even the juices from the prawn head, we made into prawn oil and prawn salt. Finish off with some seaweed flakes. Next is uh, nohyang. Nohyang traditionally is always a long roll, but they do it in a ball form because you can lock in the moisture better. You got minced pork, shiitake mushroom, water chestnut, and abalone. Wrap in beaker skin and then we fry on top with strips of abalone and we finish with the sauce that is made with uh, braised abalone reduction. Lastly is uh, miso kueh or rice noodle. So purely miswa, there's no other flour or starch. Uh, we bind everything together. There is a uh, dried Hokkaido scallop, dried oyster, sakura api. Then we finish off with the tea tree mushroom with sea urchin sauce or uni sauce. Yeah, and then this one will have a lot of umami flavor. We mm -hmm. start with the kueh pai tea, mm -hmm. then you make your way down to the miso kueh. Okay. Okay. Enjoy. So, uh, pang sushi is a bread top. So pang sushi is a traditional Eurasian brand that is made of sweet potato with some fillings. Uh, but chef also like polo pao, so you added a polo pao crust on top of pang sushi. So on top you're going to find it flaky with some buttery sweetness. Uh, inside it's still going to be soft and fluffy. The fillings inside is uh, Iberico pork chick. We also got white kampok pepper from Cambodia, candy watermelon and roasted coriander seed. So this is going to be a very savoury bun. Just use your hands to eat and then wipe off with the wet towel. They stuff with new lava king prawn ota as well as Boston lobster. There is also more lobster as well as some Japanese cabbage at the base for more textures. The dough skin is infused with some turmeric, such as the broth that is based with turmeric, pineapple, some shellfish broth as well as coconut milk. So the idea of this dish came from no, the famous Nana's prawn. So it's a dish with chunks of pineapple with cold prawns and with a slightly spicy uh, coconut milk based sauce. So Chef actually doesn't like pineapple. It's just the wife who loves Nana's prawns. So he created this dish for again a proper. <laughs>
our main course coming more on this menu, you can start taking photo or you can start tasting the food. So this is a traditional nasi ulam. So uh, nasi means rice, ulam means vegetable. So there are more vegetable than rice. So the nasi ulam itself, there's a diagram for you to refer to. There's a numbering as well. So nasi ulam is a, a very herbaceous, uh, very floral and dedicated uh, rice using 18 types of herbs. So every day chef uh, will cut the herbs uh, very thinly, uh, which requires a lot of effort uh, to cook together with the rice. And on top of the nasi ulam uh, is saya lode. So turmeric with uh, coconut milk and curry is refreshing with the Japanese vegetables added into it and there's also a tempeh which is uh, organic right? and in the center is a uh, curry so this curry is uh, from a west home with west home uh, wagyu beef short ribs and yours is the uh, pork no sorry yours is a crab curry yeah crab curry is a seafood curry right? and uh, garnish with the Japanese pumpkin on top right? and then this one the tail and the head of the uh, fish, uh, I think you are very familiar, it's a nasi lemak uh, deep fried fish then served on top of a paste which is a mao sang wang julian fermented for 4 days, can take julian right? but it's not very funky and so this sweet and very tangy sweetness and savoury is quite interesting and very good with the rice as well and this uh, buah karat, the triangular thing is actually a pottery, handmade pottery bowl made by the local couple who is very inspired by the Japanese uh, art of uh, making uh, bowls so uh, on top of inside the bowls is uh, uh, this oxtail beef with uh, sambal chili sauce and guac karat paste, right? It's very savory. And then there's a uh, burger deal. So burger deal with a very cute sunny side out. Uh, quail egg and uh, serve on top of the potato patty and on top again on top of the sambal chili sauce so if all these side dishes are very rich and uh, too heavy for you you can refresh your palate with the, the top right hand corner which is the banana flower salad and then followed by the ajaja so the ajaja is a blend of a very refreshing and tropical fruits of star fruits uh, guava and a jambu jambu uh, rose apple and then this of course a uh, brachan chili brachan here and this uh, brachan chili sauce, you can try to squeeze a few juice uh, from uh, some juice from the calamansi to add more zesty flavor. Right? And uh, this is a uh, dark satay. So this dark satay is uh, coated with a uh, cow fat, which is the stomach lining of the uh, pot. So which uh, is uh, known to enhance the meat. So it's very juicy and tender. So my suggestion is just eat this first because when it turns cold, it'll be too rich. Right? Eat it while it's hot. Right? And the rice can be uh, top up at no cost, okay? And there's also an option of white rice. Okay, Please enjoy the meal. Serve on top of a shaved ice. And this shaved ice is a, a, comes with a juice that is a blend of the nuts melon and coconut. So it's very refreshing. And in the shaved ice, there's also a, a mix of a sago and a coconut flesh, as well as a Japanese yuba. So Japanese yuba add, uh, impart more milkiness to the juice, right? And on top of the uh, moss melon, there's this uh, candy lion. It's the name of the flora. Uh, it's a very, uh, just an edible flower. And uh, together with the bird's nest. So the jelly like thing on top of the moss melon, just like to shine. <laughs> this is actually the bird's nest. So this should be the dessert. The first one in front of you, the bowl, is actually the sago. Sago is actually the powder. They say it's using uh, coconut, uh, coconut, sorry my brain is not working. <laughs> coconut and glutinous rice, a bit of salt and sugar. So under a very low heat fire. On the quick quick, the first one, we go for the quick amber, the yellow one. There will be a touch of uh, eucalyptus honey as well. It's actually from Africa, one of the chef friends. He's been based there for like 10 years right now. Yeah, so supporting the crew as well, at the same time. Moving clockwise, you will find the uh, quick bingka. But done in the cannelly style. Quick bingka, as you know, is like a, the cake. Quick quick always has more of the texture flavor in there. But chef actually has more crust on the outer layer. It's actually more flavor, more crust in the way. Third one will be having the Ondi Ondi Gula Melaka. Don't forget this one bite. Uh. It's not your friend opposite you, will splash all the Gula Melaka in there. <laughs> Lastly, you're having the Bakuloa Bong Bong. So all the way started from Canada, he's famous for his uh, wakula ice cream or dark chocolate wakula. But this one has a touch of sweet inside. Yeah. So we create into a sweet. So this would be the sequence. One, two, three, four. Okay. And with the wakula. Okay. Thank you.